So I have been using the Nexus 6P as my daily driver since 5 days now. And to be honest, it is still date one of the most powerful device I've tested out. The camera, the display, the speaker quality, RAM management, it's just perfect. And at last it depends on the user how efficiently he uses it and gets the most out of it. Welcome guys to my list of top Nexus 6P tips and tricks. These tips and tricks will no doubt unlock the full potential of your Nexus 6P. Starting with the first one, it's on how to get the most out of the fingerprint sensor. So Nexus 6P and 5X are the first Nexus devices to feature a fingerprint scanner. And the first thing to do is to make sure that you are using it. Next, I recommend you to set both your index fingers since you never know which hand you use to pick your device. Also while you are setting it, try to tap your finger with different angles so that it can record the fingerprint completely. And to make the imprint more accurate, scan the same finger multiple times. But that doesn't end the use of fingerprint scanner there. Apart from unlocking your device, you can also use it to authenticate your Google Play services. Turning this feature on, you will no longer have to type in your Gmail password when paying for your stuff on Google Play. And here's how to turn this feature on. First go into Google Play Store app, tap on this options button and open settings. Scroll down to fingerprint authentication and check it. You will need to enter your Google password and it's set. Talking a bit about the camera on the Nexus 6P, no doubt it's one of the best camera phones out there. But one thing which undermines the camera is the stock Google camera app. The camera is so simple and basic, doesn't offer much settings and camera control. On the other hand, there are several camera replacement apps in the Play Store that will give you a lot more control for capturing even better photos. You will be able to set ISO levels, exposure times, shutter speed and so much more. Also if you have been using the camera a lot on the Nexus 6P, you might know about this double press the power button shortcut which takes you to the camera app. Now if you want to change this shortcut to any other third party app, simply go into settings, apps, find cameras, open by default and tap on clear defaults. And now if you double press the power button, you will get this prompt to select which camera app to open. Next pro tip is about the pulse notification light. The Nexus 6P has one, but it's not turned on by default. To turn it on, go into settings. Select sound notification and enable pulse notification light. Now you get light notifications whenever you receive any message, updates etc. To set different light colors for different notifications you can download this free app from the play store. It's called Lightflow. I will demonstrate this app later where I will be covering the top necessary apps for the Nexus 6P so be in touch with the channel. Finally talking about the last and the most useful tip, it is on how to get the battery percentage info on the battery bar. So to enable this, first you need to enable the system UI tuner which is by default hidden in the settings app. To enable it, bring the quick settings down, tap and hold on the settings button for a few seconds. After a few seconds, it will display a message saying that system UI tuner has been added to settings. Next, go into system UI tuner and enable the show battery percentage option. Now you can check the battery percentage left without going into the quick settings. And yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did then don't forget to like this video. Also do remember to subscribe to my channel to get notified about my future videos such as this one. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you all in my next video.